Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Akash. You are watching all about code and this is part 3 of Angular testing tutorial series. Let's see what we have in this session. In this session we will learn what is Angular test bed, how to configure Angular test bed. We will create our first service and test that service using Angular test bed. And in the last we will know that what are the advantages of using Angular test bed. So this is the same example on which we are working in our last video. For now we know that how to create suite in Angular and how to create a specs for that suite. We also know what is the use of before each and after each block. For now our specs are running fine and they are returning success. So today we will discuss Angular test bed which is one of the most important topic in Angular testing. So first let's go through the definition of Angular test bed. So the basic idea is that test bed allows us to set up an independent module in our testing environment just like we have at the rate ng module that we have in our app.module.ts file. So first of all we need to configure our testing module using test bed class for that we need to import our test bed class. So we have to import it from at the rate angular. slash core slash testing we will import test bed and component fixture we will configure our test bed in before each block test bed dot configure testing module so we will have a look in our app.module.ts file that how app.component is declared over here so it is declared in declaration folder. So I will just go and declare app.component in declaration. So here we will wrap our component with component fixture. Let I am creating a variable let com fixture. And I will wrap my component with component fixture. So now fixture will be responsible for debugging and testing of our app component. Here we are creating the instance of app component but now we will create the instance using create component class of test bed. So com fixture is equal to test bed dot create component we have to create the instance of app component and here student count is equal to fixture count fixture dot component instance so component instance is a reference to the component that we are using. So as of now we have created the instance of our app component. So now we will save it and see our tests are running or not. So our tests are running. The point to notice here is that when we create the instance of component through Angular test bed, it automatically injects all the services in component constructor. But for now we are not using any service. So let's use a service in our component. So here I have created a service calculator service. So in this service what I am doing I am taking the number of parameters and returning the sum of that parameters. So let's use that service public calc calc service. So I have used that service in my constructor class and I have created a find some method for that service. Now when I run it, so my test should fail because I have not injected my service in this testing module. So now as we have added the service, so we have to resolve dependency using get method of test bed first. Create a variable calc of type calc service and now providers and that will be calc service. 
so now we have to resolve dependence using get method of test bed so calc is equal to test bed dot get calc service so now if i run my test it should pass yes my both the tests are passing so i am creating one more test for my find some method i have created a spec over here that should add two numbers and addition should be equal to six so now when i look over here i have three specs and all three are passed so the unit testing basically focus on testing one chunk of code in isolation so here the test bed is creating an isolated testing environment for the component modules and services that we are testing so let's see what are the advantages of using test bed a test bed creates an isolated module for testing which is perfect for unit testing it tests the ng module configuration that is used in our application it also tests the change detection that we will see in our upcoming videos and it uses angular di framework that is pretty much important in unit testing so i think now you have understood the concept of test bed if you have any doubt said then please write in comment section we will meet in next video thanks for now